Jill everybody, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to draw a, like, okay. So the other day we drew a clown, right? But today we're going to draw something a little different, but it's still kind of in that spooky category. If you even count clowns as spooky, I don't count them as spooky. But if you do, this is also one of those like spooky animals. But also I wouldn't count this as spooky either because it's not really scaring me, but people count it as a spooky area. Um, so, like, yeah. Um, so, I got to put the green background in, um, which is actually going to be its face. I, I know I'm doing it a little bit different than the clown. Before, I just did clown makeup and drew just clown makeup. But this time, I'm going to draw the background as the face. It's kind of like a block face, except for we'll, like, smooth it out later. Also, we got to add the cute little tongue. Make it look all cute and stuff. Yeah. Then we gotta whiten the eyes. Don't forget the white eyes. Actually, thinking about it right now, might have been better to do kind of a yellowish tint since the thing that we're making is kind of not alive. So, I'll just say it right now. We're making a zombie, so maybe yellowish tinted eyes would be best since it's kind of undead. Well, no, it is dead. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyways, um, yeah, and then we're going to do some white hair. I just, I thought that was cool. I don't know why. Um, and that was what I meant by, like, smoothing the edges out. Obviously, it was a block. How am I supposed to smooth that out? Um, but... Congratulations. I did. I put hair. <laughs> filling in the white. Filling in the white. What are we doing? We're filling in the white. Um, yeah. I don't know. So, white hair. I don't know why I did white hair, but it kind of looks cool with, like, the green face for a zombie. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I feel like zombies just have white hair. Obviously, they have all types of different colored hair, but usually just, like, blood in them and, like, holes in their face. But, yeah. They can also have white hair. And they look adorable with white hair. I've proven this here. Also, I love his derpy face. He looks so cute. <sighs> so cute. Highlights. Except for since I made the hair white, my highlights are actually a darker color. Can you imagine? Like, wow. Highlights are supposed to be, like, light and stuff. But it's actually a darker color to make it have death. Death. Depth. Ugh. Ooh. Time for the bags under its eyes. Like, this was my favorite part. Because bags under my eyes. Um... Yeah. Oh my gosh. I did so well with this. I love it so much. I don't I don't even know what I'm going to name this creation that I've made. But he's so cute. And we've got to do a little blood on his little derpy tongue to insinuate he's been eating some brains. And that um, you should stay away from him because he's spooky. And he'll eat your brains and he'll gobble them right up. Um... Yeah, you want to stay away from this guy. I would tell you to stay away from his name, but since I don't know it, I just gotta say stay away from this guy. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love him so much! Where'd he get so cute from? Then we gotta do a little bit of red in their eyes to insinuate that there is red in their eyes. I don't even know. Why, why do you put red in their eyes? I don't know, but it looks spookier. It's not necessarily blood. I think they're just bloodshot. For like, I don't know. Not enough sleep. This zombie should get some sleep. Ooh. Blood drip. Spooky. Spooky blood drip. Ooh. Spooky blood drip. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. Ooh. Spooky blood drip. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my gosh, look how cute. 
And we gotta put a little bit of red of their hair. Because we don't, it won't look textured and stuff. And we gotta make it, their face all red. So it looks like they've been eating brains and now they're stained. Cute zombie. Cute scary zombie.